Hey everyone, welcome back to new series of Python. In today's video, we will discuss about the assignment operator. So assignment operators are used to assign the values to a variable. And this operator is used to assign the values of the right side of the expression to the left side of operand. So let's go with an example. Let's say that A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 5. So here you can find two operands which is A and B and it has got the values over here. Now we can say that we just want to assign the value of a plus b into a particular variable. So I'll be using the variable name as c and into this I'll be storing a plus b. So here you can see this is the expression that is uh, in the right side we have got the expression and the value will be storing to the left side. So if you want to just get the result over here we can use a print function and we can set the name of the operand which is in the left side. So, which is C, and now you can just rent the file. So, as you just rent the file here, you can see that 5 plus 3 is basically 8, and we have just got the result. Now, we know that the assignment operator is indicated using the equal to symbol. So, if you are basically using a single equal to symbol, then we can say that we are just assigning the value into a particular variable. Okay, now let's see how can we manage the addition assignment operator. The addition assignment operator is used to add the right hand side operands with the left hand side operands and then assign the result to the left operand. So here you can find the I mean, syntax that is a plus equal to b. So in this case, we can basically say that we can just expand this. So uh, as you just expand this, you will get the result like this. That is a is equal to a plus b. Which means that here we can find two operands which is a and b so we will add that and we will get a value and that value will be stored into a now let's go with an example let's say a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10. now we can say that um, we are just going to manage with the addition assignment so a plus um, b i mean a plus equal to b now we just need to get the result over here so that we can just print a so we can just say like print a and as we just print this we will get the result as 15 so let me run this and here you can find we can we have got the result as 15 so as we just set this likewise we can say that uh, i mean let me comment this section and we'll give you the answer so here into the operand a, I mean, we will be considering a as a variable and we can just expand uh, this addition assignment. So as we just expand this, we can find the two operands over here, a plus b. So here you can see that uh, we will get the result like um, into a, we will be storing 5 plus 10. So as we just print a, we will get get the result as 15. Now let's go with the other one that is the subtraction assignment operator. So the subtraction assignment operator is used to subtract the right hand side operands from the left hand side operands and then assigning the result to the left hand side operand. So here you can find the syntax that is used. So basically we can say that we can just expand this. So into A we will be storing the result of the uh, operand so here you can find the operand that is a and b so here basically we can say we will perform like this a minus b so we will get a value and that value will be storing to a so let's say that a is equal to 10 over here b is equal to 5 over here okay so i just want to perform the uh, subtraction assignment operator over here so i'll be using like a minus equal b now i just need to get the result so i'll be using the print function okay so um i just want to print uh because i mean i just want to print a because the result will be storing in a so here you can see the expansion of this syntax so uh even if you just give the syntax like this in python python will just convert that syntax into this format and Basically, the result will be stored in a particular variable, which is in the left side. 
basically we can say that that is the left upright and here we can get the result as 5. So let me run the file and here you can see the result is 5. Now we are just going to talk about the multiplication assignment operator. So in case of multiplication assignment operator, we can say that the operator is used to multiply the right hand side operand with the left hand side operand and then assign the result to the left hand side operand. So as we just give uh, like this, I mean, as we just use this index like this, we can just expand how Python works uh, in multiplication assignment operator. So we can consider A is the operand in the left. So into this operand, we will be storing the result, which means that is the variable into that we will be assigning the result. So here currently we have two operands that is uh, A and B. So we can say A into B. Okay. So let me consider two examples. Let's say A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 3. Now we just need to find the result using the multiplication assignment operator. So I'll be going with this index A uh, asterisk equal to B. But if I want to just get the result in console or in the loop, I'll be using the print function and we can say that when we when you just expand this uh, syntax, you will get the result likewise. Okay. So we, are, we know that the result will be assigned in the variable A. So you can basically give the object name over there and run the file and here you can see the result is nine. Now let's move on to the other one that is division assignment operator. So in case of division assignment operator, um, it is used to divide the left hand side operands with the right hand side operand and then assign the result to the left operand. So here you can find this index. So as you just um, yeah expand this index, you can see that uh, uh, into the variable A, we can store the result or we can just assign the result. So we can say that A is equal to A by B. Now here we will be performing the uh, yeah division. So let me uh, go with an example. Let's say A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 5. Okay. So I just want to get the result from the division assignment operator. So in this case, what we will do is that uh, we will use this index that is A by, uh, I mean, forward slash equal to B. Now we just need to get the result. So in order to get the result, we will be using the print function. And from this, we can conclude that the result will be assigned to the variable A. So A is in its uh, left, I mean, A act, act as the left operand. And you can see we have given the object name over there. And we can just run the file and here you can find the result which is 2.0. So now we can just use the modulus assignment operator. Okay. So modulus assignment operator is used to take the modulus and that is the first. It divides the operands and takes the reminder and assigns it to the left operand. So we know the basic concept of modulus operator is that um, it uses the remainder as its result. So if you want to just expand this, we can say that the result will be stored in a particular variable. So currently the variable is A, which is in its left side. So we will be treating A as the operand uh, that to be, I mean, that is the container or storage space where uh, the value is being stored. And we can say that A mode B over here. And uh, this is how we just expand this syntax. And now let's consider an example. Let's say A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 3. So in this case, we will get the result as 1 when we just have the modulus uh, operations uh, in Python. So the result will be basically stored in A. So let's see how that is done in Python using the modulus assignment operator. So A mode, um, yeah, let's say B. Yeah, here we have just given the wrong syntax because we have to provide the equal to symbol over there. And here you can see we have successfully corrected this index in order to perform the modulus assignment operator. Later on, you can just use the print function to get the result. So we know the result is basically stored in A so that you can just provide the left operand or the variable name over there. And you can just rent the file and here you can see that we have just got the result as 1 and that result is stored in the variable A. 
Now let's move on to the flow division assignment operator. The flow division assignment operator is used to divide the left of hands with the right of hands and then assign the result and it is the flow value to the left of hand. So basically this is similar to performing of the division. But the difference is that when we just use the simple division in Python, it would also give the floating points over there. So if we want to just remove the floating points, we basically use the flow divisions. Okay, so this uh, obviously treats the values in an integer form. So let's see how can we just manage with the flow division assignment operator. Now, so you can basically expand this uh, syntax. So we know the operand in the left is A. So we will treat A as a variable into which we will assign the value. So A is equal to A double forward slash uh, then B. So here I'm going to provide the value as uh, uh, 10 for uh, A. So let's say A is equal to 10. And let's say B is equal to 5. And now we just need to perform the flow division assignment operator. Okay. So in this case, what I will do is that I'll be using this syntax that is A forward slash that is double forward slash is equal to B. Now we know the result will be stored in A. So we can just use the print function to get the result. So here we just need to pass the argument that is the variable name or the object name. So basically everything in Python is known as object. So here currently the variable name is also treated as an object over here. So you can set the variable name over there and here you will get the result as uh, 2. So here you can see we have just got the result as 2. Okay. Now we are just going to move with the exponential assignment operator. So in this case, uh, we know that uh, uh, the exponential assignment operator is used to calculate the exponents, uh, that is the raised power value using the operands and then assigning the result to the left operand. So here you can find the syntax that is a double asterisk equal to b. So I'm going to expand this uh, syntax. So we can say that a is equal to a double asterisk b will be half the computation performed in Python. Now let's say that a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 2. So here we just want to perform the exponential assignment operator. So we know this index that is a double star b, right? So before that here you can see a double star equal to b is the exact syntax. So we have to provide the exact syntax over here. Now we just need to get the result. So you can use a print function. And uh, we know basically when you just expand the syntax, you will get the result like a is equal to a double star b. So we know the expression will be stored or assigned to the operand a or into the variable a. So I'll be using a over here and I'll be getting the result as 36. That is 6 to the power of 2 will get the result as 36. Now let's discuss about the bitwise and assignment operator. So the bitwise and assignment operator is used to perform the bitwise and operations on both operands and then assigning the result to the left operand. So if you don't know the concept of bitwise and operator, you can just watch that video because we have already discussed about what is bitwise and operator in Python and how to manage that in Python. So kindly clear with the concept and come back to this section. So here you can find the syntax that we just going to use that is E and equal to B. So when you just um, expand that, we can see that um, we will be assigning A and B into the variable A, which means that when you just perform uh, um, the A and B, you will get a result and that result would be stored over here in A. Now let's find an example over here, which is uh, A is equal to 4 and uh, B is equal to 7. Okay, so here we are just going to perform the bitwise and assignment operator. So in case of bitwise and assignment operator, we can say that we can just use this is uh, this syntax that is A and equal to B. And from this, we can conclude that the result will be assigned to A. So here you can just provide a um, under the print function and as you just rent this you will get the result as 4 over here. This is because we know as we just 
uh, use the bitwise AND operator, first this decimal number will be converted into the binary format. And the binary form will be used for performing the calculations uh, of the bitwise AND operation. So in case of bitwise AND operator, we know that if both operands uh, or both inputs are true, then we will get the result as true, else we will get the result as false. So from this, we can conclude that we uh, have just got the result as false from this over here. Because when we just convert uh, A uh, equal to 4 into binary, then we can say that that will be 1010. 10, 0. Okay. And when you just convert 7 into binary, you will get it as triple 1. So as you just have uh, or just perform the bitwise add operation over here, you will get the result as 4. Okay. Now let's move on to the bitwise odd operator. That is the bitwise odd assignment operator. So the bitwise odd assignment operator is used to perform bitwise odd operations on the operands and then assigning the result to the left operand. And here you can find the syntax. So as you just want to expand this, you can expand that like the, uh, I mean the result will be like A is equal to A or B. So let me say uh, that A is equal to for itself and B is equal to 7. Now, when you just perform the bitwise or operation over here, you will get the result as 7. So we know A is, uh, is equal to 4. As you just convert them into the binary, uh, you will get it as 1, double zero. And when you just convert 7 into binary, you will get it as triple 1. So by the bitwise operator, that is bitwise or operator, we can conclude that if any one of the input is 1, then we will get the result as 1. Which means if any one of the input is true, we will get the result as true. Okay. So as you just perform the bit, bitwise or assignment operator, you will just get the result as 7. Okay. So here we are just going to perform the bitwise or assignment operator. So A then we can just use the R symbol and equal to uh, B. Now we just need to get the result. So here we know that the result will be basically stored in the variable A, which is in its left, uh, that is the left operand. Okay. So I'll be using the print function over here and we can just set the object name over here and you can see that the result is currently 7. Now we are just going to perform the bitwise R assignment operator. So in case of R, uh, that is the XOR assignment operator, we know that uh, if the both inputs are same, then the result will be false. If the given inputs are different, then the result will be true. Okay, so this is the basic syntax that is used for performing bitwise XOR assignment operator. Now we are just going to discuss about the bitwise XOR assignment operator. So the XOR assignment operator is used to perform the bitwise XOR operations on the operands and then assigning the result to left operand. Here you can find the syntax that is used. So when we just expand this, here I'll show you how to expand this. Like we can say that the result will be stored in the left operand, which is A, then A then you have to use the uh, power symbol that is uh, to perform the XOR operations. Then uh, you can provide the other operand. Okay. So in case of bitwise XOR operator, when the given inputs are same, then we will get the result as false. If the given inputs are different, then we will get the result as true. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to say that A is equal to 4. And B is equal to 7. Now we just need to convert them into the binary form. So as you just convert the decimal to binary, you will get as 1 double zero for 4. And uh, you will get triple 1 uh, as the binary form of 7. So in this case, as you just perform the XOR operations here, you can see that first you will get the result as 1, 1. And uh, you will get uh, the result over here as 0. So 0, 1, 1 is the binary representation of 3. And you will get the result as 3 as you just perform the bitwise XOR operations for uh, 4 and 7.
Okay. So here, let's see how that is done in Python. So A, then you can just use the symbol over here is equal to B. And here we just need to get the result. So in order to get the result, we can basically use the print function. So here you, you know that the result is stored in A and you can just use that variable. And now let me rent that. And here you can see we have just got the result as three. Now let's discuss the bitwise right shift assignment operator. So bitwise right shift assignment operator is used to perform the bitwise right shift operations on the operands, then assign result to the left operand. So here you can find the syntax that is A. In order to perform the bitwise uh, right shift, we will be using the greater than symbol that is the double greater than symbol. And along with that, we will have equal to uh, symbol as we are just uh, managing with the assignment operator. Now let me expand this um, yeah, syntax. So into A, we will be storing the result and A greater than greater than B. Now let me say that uh, um, A is equal to, yeah, 4. Let's say A is equal to 4 and we can just convert them into the binary. So that will be 1, 0, 0. Now we can say that V is equal to 1. Now I just want to perform the bitwise right shift assignment operation. So here we can say that A then use the double greater than symbol is equal to B. So here we are just going to shift one bit. Okay, as we have set a B equal to 1 over here. So we want to get the result over there and let me rent this. So here I have just got the result as 2. This is because when we just uh, consider uh, 4 over here, we know um, 4 is the uh, number um, or that is the decimal number. And into this, we just need to perform the bitwise uh, shifting or uh, we just need to shift, make a right shift for the bit. Okay. So as I just make a right shift here, you can see this will be removed. And in the void space, we will be putting a zero. So one, I mean zero, one, zero is the binary representation of two. And as you just convert them into the decimal format, you will get the result. At. Now let's see how can we perform the bitwise left shift assignment operator. So the bitwise left shift assignment operator is used to perform the bitwise left shift operators on the operands and then assign the result to the left operand. So here you can find this index that is A, and to perform the um, left shift, you have to basically use the less than symbol, that is the double less than symbol. Then as we are just performing the assignment operator, we know obviously we will be using the equal to uh, symbol and uh, you can just provide the other operand. So as you just expand that syntax, you will get the result like this. So A is equal to A less than B. Okay, that is the left shift operations will be performed over there. So I'm uh, going to set uh, an example over here. Let's say that A is equal to, yeah, let's say it's 2. And let's say B is equal to 1. And we are just going to perform the bitwise left shift assignment operator. So that is A, uh, then you have to use that symbol, that is a less than symbol, and uh, provide the equal to symbol. So Currently, we are just using the left shift alignment uh, operator over here and we can set the operand that is B. Now, we just need to get the result so that you can just use the print function. So, um, in the print function, yeah, okay. In the print function, you can provide uh, the uh, operand over here that is the left op operand because into this we will be uh, assigning uh, the values so let me rent the file and here you can see the result is 4 this is because now let's uh, just convert the yeah 2 into binary form so as you just convert uh, 2 into binary form you know that it's 0 1 0 okay so here we will be performing uh, the operation of the uh, shifting right left shift so uh, here we will be performing one bit of shift because here we have given b is equal to 1. So basically we will be only shifting one bit. So as I just shift one bit, see here I'll be performing the shift. So this will be removed actually. Okay. 
So uh, the uh, rest of the bits will be 1, 0. And uh, in the void space, we will be setting 0. Okay. So it is 1, 0, 0. So as you just convert 1, 0, 0 into decimal, you will get the result as 4. And finally, we just got the result over here. Now, let's discuss about the Waldress operator. The Waldress operator in Python is a new assignment operator which is introduced in Python version 3.8 and higher. And this operator is used to assign a value to a variable within an expression. And here you can find the syntax that is a colon equal to expression. Now, let's consider two variables. It has got some integer values. Let's say a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 50. Now, I'll be using the if condition in order to provide the expression. So here we know if condition is basically defined by if, then we will use the round bracket. Afterwards, we will use the colon. Okay. Now inside this, we will provide the expression. And here you can find the syntax that we have to use a variable in order to assign this expression. Okay. So I'll be using R as my variable. And here in order to assign this or by Walter's operator, we can say that it, the symbol is colon then equal to. Okay, so you have to basically use that symbol that is call it, then use the assignment operator and later on you can just provide the expression. So the expression is A plus B and uh, the condition is A plus B is greater than 7. Okay, now what I'm going to do is that I just need to check whether uh, A plus B is greater than 7 or not. Okay, so if the condition is true, we can say print true else we can say that print false so i'll be using the else condition so if this condition is false we can say print false okay um yeah we have 10 with everything now you can just rent the file so as you just rent the file here you can see that the condition is true this is because when you just consider a we know the value of a is 5 and the value of b is 50. So altogether, when you just um, go to the addition or manage the uh, automatic operation of adding, you can see that uh, the value is 20. So 20 is obviously greater than 7. From this, we can conclude that the condition is true and the print, I mean, the true block will be print over there. So here you can find that. Now let me say that, um, yeah, a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 0. And let's rent this and here we will get the result as false because we know as we just add 5 plus 0, we will get the result as 5. 5 is definitely less than 7. It's not greater than 7. So hence, it will print the else block. That is the false block. Okay. So this is how we just manage with the assignment operator. And we know assignment operator is further classified into uh, different uh, classes or groups basically. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.